When doctors need to get somewhere fast, a helicopter is usually the way to go. But what about when doctors need to get things, like organs, to patients quickly? Doctors and scientists at the University of Maryland at College Park are testing drones as a cheap and fast way to get organs, like a kidney, to a Maryland woman who waited eight years for a transplant. It was a short flight, only about three miles, about 10 minutes of flight time. So in this demonstration phase, it wasn't really a great leap in capability. What it's really leading towards is the next generation of capability, which will be longer distances. The first successful flight took place in Baltimore, home to a number of large hospitals. This was the first illustration of a live organ transplant that was facilitated by an unmanned aerial system that will improve upon existing techniques and ultimately save lives. The best things about drones is their size and speed. They can move faster than an ambulance, maneuvering through traffic, and even in some cases faster than manned helicopters. When an organ becomes available, when a patient becomes a recipient, everything matches up, you'll be able to say go, and immediately it goes. It's on a timeline, it increase, increases the viability of the organs and reduces cost. Scientists hope that after more tests, the technology will be accepted and adapted in hospitals not only in the United States, but across the globe as well, creating an international network of donor organs. The potential is around the world. You could literally have drones that would fly even hypersonic around the world and reduce the f time from uh, harvest of the organ to delivery to a patient to hours. For now, there are many legal issues that scientists and specialists need to deal with before the technology can be fully popularized. But developers say the technologies that minimize the risks of medical drone flights already exist and should only take two to five years until they are fully tested and implemented. For Alexei Gorbachev in College Park, Maryland, NRI's VOA News.